This is a new camp for internally displaced people in the Somali capital, Mogadishu. Most of these families are from Lower Shabele, which is on the brink of a famine. Mohammed Hussein is worried about his son. The little boy doesn't have anything to eat, and some of the other children have measles. We left our home and live in hard conditions. Just the other day, my daughter died of measles. My son is sick and is getting worse. We lost everything in the drought. Four rainy seasons have failed in the Horn of Africa. Humanitarian groups estimate more than 18 million people are going hungry in Somalia, Ethiopia, Djibouti and Kenya. A combination of armed conflicts, rising global food and fuel prices has worsened the impact of the extreme weather on poor communities. Somalia is the, on the front line of the uh, climate change. Currently, it's uh, ranked the second most vulnerable uh, country in terms of uh, vulnerability of a climate change. The impact of climate change. Leaders from the region are meeting to coordinate ahead of a broader UN climate summit in November. Governments from the region uh, want to bring this to the attention of the negotiators at COP27, the climate negotiations happening in Sharm el Sheikh, and today they've adopted a historic declaration to that effect that will be brought to, to the negotiators. Back at the camp, Mohammed does not need to be reminded about the devastating effects of climate change. He's less concerned about the decisions leaders make at their summits and more worried about where his next meal will come from. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera.